Good morning, everyone. Uh, first, I want to thank the organization committee for the invitation to give this speak today. It's very a pleasure. I was here as uh, I was here as an author a couple of times before, so it's really nice to be able to to be invited to be, to talk about my work here in the in the field of autonomous mobility. Um, as Stefania said, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about the work that I'm doing in, the, in my lab, in the Autonomous Mobility and Perception Lab that I founded in Madrid around three years ago. And also the, the, uh, the evolution of this laboratory that uh, we did when we found Sibia. It's true that they introduced a Sabia, but we did a small naming change a couple of weeks ago, so there was not uh, time to change it before the presentation. And yeah, um, the idea is when they contact me is uh, about how to um, about how to address this talk. I was trying to uh, give a perspective of Thomas Draven that goes a little bit uh, beyond the classical idea of uh, introducing the technology is going to be ready, it's not going to be ready. Um, because to be honest, uh, it's been announced many times uh, that it's going to be ready in a couple of years. Actually, this week I heard that. This is another announcement that is going to be ready in two years, always two years. Um, um, spam, no? Like, and and I think that we, it's important to address the uh, novelties that we have been able to provide over the years using this technology, more than thinking about when it's going to be ready or not. Because at the end, is we are always waiting. We harass our expectation, and at the end, it's not happening, and we get frustrated, no? So. I just want to introduce one of the curious uh, image from a movie that I found a couple of months ago, is, which is the first idea I had to admit that I found about autonomous driving. Is uh, when they asked which one was the first autonomous car, we were talking about 70s, 80s, Carnegie Mellon, um, DARPA, and so on. And I, I had to admit that I got surprised. Um, I'm not sure. This. Uh, okay. uh, I had to admit that I was surprised when I heard when I saw this footage. It's, it's around 100 years old. Or the first idea of what is an autonomous car. Of course, we're not talking here. There were not even talks about how an autonomous car works. But I think that's what you're going to see later on is going to give you an idea of, um, it's going to remind you some things of the different uh, promises that we had. So the, the um, I can change to the one in the hand if it's not working. It's working? OK. So uh, at the end, I have to me that uh, the next time that you see the images, you see what is the reality, the expectation versus reality, you know? So what was behind the, the steering wheel. And, and somehow, I had to admit that somehow it summarizes what has been happening in the last 10, 15 years in the field, no? That we raise the expectation to having an autonomous car anytime soon, and we don't see it coming, we don't see it coming, we don't see it coming, no? Nothing changed over the last few years. So if you think about that, uh, in 2015, 